Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Tracy. I'm Joel. I'm Mimi. I'm Daniel. I'm Taylor. I'm Megan. I'm Grandpa. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Welcome back everybody, it's so nice to see you. This morning we've been working on feeding animals and right now we're focusing our attention on the calves. I didn't get the opportunity to introduce you to our two newest calves. We've got these guys right here. Now they are both bull calves. We have not come up with names for them. When we come up with names, we will let you know. So we've been working on quite a few things this week and one of the biggest things we've been working on is cleaning out our grain bin. Now, as you guys know, all of the grain that we feed our animals is stuff that we've harvested and stored. And well, echo, we just cleaned this out. Now, the number one thing we store in that grain bin is corn. But what we've done is moved all of the corn into one of our trucks and we're going to be storing soybeans in there. Normally, we would just take all the beans and haul them straight down to the mill and get paid for them. But sometimes they dock us for price because the moisture is a little high. Now our big grain unit there has a blower unit and a heater on it. So what we're gonna do is harvest our beans, dry them down so that we don't get docked that price. A local restaurant has just given us a call and they placed an order for six 50 pound bags of white potatoes. So now we're gonna get working on that order. Now what I'm trying to do as I bag these potatoes is I'm grabbing the potatoes and then I'm flipping them over. I'm just trying to make sure there's no imperfections on them because there is, if there is imperfections, like we see we have this deep cut here, um, what we'll do with this potato is either we'll eat it as a family or we'll feed it to the cows. I'm here, boss man. Don't give me this boss man stuff, I'm grandpa. Okay, boss man. Tell them how many more potatoes did I have to add to that? I got it right on the money, 50. Perfect. Now we got all of the potatoes filled for that order, but we also need potatoes for ourselves up in the farm market. So we did a few extra 50s and we also did some 10s. If you wondered how we keep the potato bags on going up the hill, that's how. Now this pile of potatoes, although it may look like Matthew, it is not. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Now these potatoes, it may seem like a lot of potatoes, but we're gonna sell through them really fast. Remember, six of the 50 pounders are ordered and the rest of them, they just fly off the shelf. Now, one of the biggest reasons why the potatoes just fly off the shelf is we can actually have a little bit of a cheaper price than the average person. And the reason for that is because when we grow the potatoes, it's a lot cheaper than buying them in. And that's why we like being able to store our potatoes because for an extended period of time, we can give our customers a better price than other people. But when we run out of potatoes and we have to start buying them in, then our prices have to jump up and match other people's. Now, before we head out and start picking some orders, we're helping Aunt Rhonda with winterizing the greenhouse. As you guys know, we have roll up sides. That way, when it gets too hot, we can open up the sides and it lets a lot of the heat out. Now, the only concern is in wintertime, when the winds really start to pick up in the area we live, there's the chance that the winds could damage our roll up sides. So we put these little metal brackets in and they hold the sides in, that way they don't get damaged. We just went down through the whole length of the greenhouse and we got all of our brackets put in. So this side of the largest greenhouse is done. We finally made our way out to the fields this morning and we're getting started by picking some cauliflower. There we go. It's a little smaller head, but you can see beautiful cauliflower there. Now, as we're harvesting the cauliflower, we're trying to keep some leaves on the outside because when the cauliflower touches other cauliflower, it has the chance to bruise it. So when we keep the leaves on the outside, it stops that from happening. We had gone through and got all of the cauliflower that we needed, and now we're gonna be working on getting some green bell peppers for an order. Now, 
Now these bell peppers aren't growing near as fast as they used to, but they still have a great flavor. We just finished off picking the last of the bell peppers that we needed. We got some for that order. We also got some for us back at the farm market. Now we have to move over and get some eggplant for an order. We also, we need some eggplant for us. I didn't know eggs grow on plants. Now when it comes to eggplant, we like to harvest the eggplant with clippers. And I'll show you why. I'm gonna pull this one off by hand. First of all, you don't get a nice clean cut. The eggplant looks a lot nicer when you trim the tops. But there is also, there is also little thorns that grow on the eggplant. And those thorns can easily break off in your finger. And because they're so thin, um, they're hard to find and they're hard to get out. And it can actually give you an infection in your hands. Do you wanna hold these while I cut that? Before we head back to the farm market, I'm just showing you what we've got on the truck. We've got potatoes, I mean Matthew, eggplant, peppers. We've got some broccoli up there and cauliflower. Now that I'm home, I'm just gonna get some of this stuff ready for order. Now, all I'm doing is wiping off some of the dirt because some of these eggplant were sitting on the ground. Uh, the plants, as they get older, they can't really support themselves as well. And these eggplant, they got pretty large. So I'm just wiping off some of the excess dirt on the outside and then I'm putting them in the box. Now that we are all finished with the eggplant, we also need two boxes of green bell peppers. So now I'm gonna be searching through these green bell peppers, making sure everything looks good. We have got our orders filled and now all we have to do is move the rest of this stuff inside the farm market. Alrighty, for lunch it looks like we're having BLTs and Grammy made soup. Looks pretty good. I'm up at the house eating my lunch and someone literally just woke up from a nap. So we are still, we're still in the process of waking up. So while Dad, myself, and Matthew, we were working on harvesting vegetables, Daniel and Joel were pulling the combine out of the shop. We'd like to get started on beans as soon as possible, maybe even today if we get the chance. So we're just gonna check everything on this machine, make sure that it's all ready to go. And we could be getting out in the fields with it today. I have no idea, it'd be neat if we could. Now the back right tire had a hole in it, so we just took that off. I got the windows all cleaned on the cab. Joel had just finished greasing the machine. So now the biggest thing we have to do is just put a new tube back in this tire. The tire is all set to go. It's holding the air. Everything's looking good. We have to go get our header now. I hooked my side already. This is exciting. You know what's even more exciting? What? Corn harvest. Oh, it's right around the corner. So now that we're home, we are working on filling up the machine with fuel and Dad and Matthew, they're working on greasing the head. Now back when we were dealing with wheat harvest, we were having a little bit of trouble uh, with our fingers here on our auger. Well, a lot of the fingers had broken off. So now we're gonna put some new fingers on here so that when the machine is grabbing all of the grain and chaff, it won't leave any behind and jam up our machine. Do you have any advice for us on how to fix this machine? I think we are all set to go. The machine has fuel, it's all greased. The header is all taken care of. Everything seems like we're ready to go. Unless there's an underlying problem we don't know about, I think we're ready. But I don't think that's gonna happen. We're, we're gonna be just fine. Tell the people what you're looking for. I'm looking to see how many beans the combine is blowing out the back of the combine and not putting in the bin. And I don't see any beans at all. There is a number of settings uh, to adjust in the combine to control how much uh, beans that, how we're shelling the beans. So we're just looking to see how much uh, we're blowing out the back and then we're making our adjustments. the middle section is where all the grain is being pulled inside that's where those fingers become so important because we don't want clumps of grain going in we want a nice continuous flow 
because if we get clumps, that could give the machine more pressure. It could cause the machine to not thresh the grain as well. So we want a continuous flow. to harvesting you guys know we don't raise acres and acres of soybeans so on this harvester we have a 15 foot head and that's what works for us in this local area if we raised more acres of beans and wheat then we'd probably need a larger head but we wanted to give you guys a shot of us harvesting you can see the beans look really nice and we're giving you a little ride home with us now this field that we were harvesting at it was only about two minutes from the farm market so it's not that far. Easy for us to unload, actually. Uh, as we pull down around the back of the greenhouses, you can get a nice view at everything. We've got our three greenhouses down over the hill. And this is where we are unloading into the bin. And it gives us a great opportunity for us to show you the home farm. Check it out. We are back home now and we just spent some time offloading the soybeans into the bin. Now our moisture on the beans was 13 and a half, which is just a tiny bit higher than what we would want. So we are gonna have to run some air on them. But even so, that moisture is really nice for us. The test weight on these beans is really good. That's what we like to see. Matthew had just left with the truck. He is heading back out to dad. He's gonna be running trucks back and forth tonight. I'm not sure how late dad's gonna want to pick. Uh, the machine was running relatively smoothly. We weren't having any problems. The beans are shelling wonderfully. Altogether, things are going really well so far for bean harvest. We're up in the farm market right now and we just finished closing up and putting everything away. Now we are not done with harvesting beans yet for the night. Dad is actually at part of the test plot. Half of the test plot was just some extra beans that we had, so he's finishing that off. After we closed up the farm market, I just came down here and waited for Matthew to get home with the truck. So this is our second truck that we're unloading into the bin. We've been getting a nice bean harvest so far. I really can't even tell you how happy we are that this has kind of gone off without a hitch. Um, this doesn't usually happen. Usually we have some sort of hiccup, but everything looks good. I came back out to watch dad harvest this hill over here. Uh, my mom's actually with him in the cab right now. So that's pretty cool that my mom came out. There's like an awesome sunset over there. Nice weather. It's been a good day. Just giving you guys a little update. We are still out here waiting for dad to finish off this bottom field. It's getting pretty dark out. All I can tell you is we are getting a pretty cool sunset over there. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty nice. Did you know dad's last combine didn't have lights on it? I miss those days. So we just got done with work and we are all up at the house now. We're getting ready for dinner. We are having stuffing, stuffed pork chops, and butternut, no, what's that? Honey nuts, honey nut squash. I take that, daddy. That's because you're late. Alrighty guys, well we are gonna sit down and eat our dinner. So that means this is where we're gonna end the video. We wanna thank everyone for watching and we hope to see you next time. Buh bye bye Buh bye bye